Hey there, I'm Sarah here with a look at, yes, the lie of that showbiz land. Well, Viva Vancouver. The Spice Girls have kicked off their comeback tour there. Scary, posh, ginger, sporty and baby hit the stage in Canada last night for over two hours. It's the first time all five members have performed together for nine years. David Beckham was there too. He made a surprise appearance at the opening of the girls' reunion world tour after jetting in from New Zealand. In the coming months, the five will perform in cities across the world, including Los Angeles, Las Vegas and London. Now, yes, it may well be the middle of winter, but that hasn't stopped Amy Winehouse from popping outside in just her jeans and a bra. Chilly. It looks like the jazz singer got papped outside her home in North London at about 6am as she apparently went to check out a noise she heard. According to the papers, she was out in the street as she thought a friend she'd spent the evening with had come back. Let's hope the troubled star, who's recently cancelled her UK tour, got back inside fairly sharpish, as we think a skimpy red bra's no protection from the cold. Meanwhile, Daniel Craig has been on about Amy Winehouse, saying he reckons that she would be a great choice to record the next James Bond theme. Despite that, the current 007 says all the talk is merely speculation at this stage and discussions about the song aren't made until much later on. Leona Lewis is another name being touted. Meanwhile, Daniel's begun rehearsing stunts for the upcoming movie. It picks up just two minutes after the end of Casino Royale. Now, Christmas really came early for one lucky audience member at a charity party over the weekend. While hosting the fundraiser for Elton John's AIDS Foundation, Sharon Osbourne suddenly threw a diamond ring into the crowd. Mrs O had already chucked out her red AIDS awareness ribbon when she decided to pull off the 30 grand stone on her finger and lob that in the direction of the crowd too. She was joined at the star-studded bash marking the 20th anniversary of World AIDS Day by celebrities including Girls Aloud and Westlife. And Kylie Minogue's long-awaited comeback album has failed to hit the number one spot in the charts. Despite huge publicity, X has entered at number four. Leona Lewis, oh yes, holds on to the top position. Shane Ward's a new entry at two, with Westlife in at three. And that's all of the latest showbiz goss.